once-in-a-lifetime original movie ripped from the headlines. My God, who does this to another human being? Based on the unbelievable true story. Melanie, who do you think killed your husband? I don't know, but I know that I'm innocent. Candace King. Well, we did nothing wrong. Wendy Malick. What happened is not for the faint of heart. A seven-hour drive with her husband stuffed into suitcases after cutting him to pieces. Suitcase Killer, The Melanie McGuire Story. Premiere Saturday, June 18th at 8. Hell, if it were a movie, I'd watch it. Only on Lifetime. Everyone, please welcome stars Michael and Jackson from Suitcase Killer, The Melanie McGuire Story. Hello, guys, on the virtual. Hey, how are you? Hey, man. It's so nice to have you guys on. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Good to be here. Yes, absolutely. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. First off, this movie is based on a very shocking true story did you know about the suitcase killer case and melanie mcguire before taking this role on michael you can start off on this one and then jackson you can share your answer i did not it was news to me um i knew nothing of it but once i did kind of look it up uh i was pretty enthralled by it no i i heard whispers of it over the years just like you hear about you know random crazy stories but i i didn't know the details i didn't know the ins and outs until this project came along and then i I dug in. Now, can you tell us about your characters that you play and how they uh, fit into the story? Michael, you start off, and then Jackson, you tell us a little bit more about your character that you play in the movie. Yeah, so I play uh, Bill McGuire, who is married to Melly McGuire. Uh, Bill mm -hmm. is the unfortunate soul, ends up chopped up in uh, three suitcases and dumped in the river. So they were married, two sons, lived in Jersey. Bill's a Navy vet, uh, was working as a computer programmer and adjunct professor. Um, their marriage was on the rocks and, you know, there's uh, seemingly he was also a womanizer and he had gambling problems, although that's kind of, you know, disputed how deep that actually went. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah, yeah, that's essentially the story. He wasn't really thrilled about where he was at his lot in life and he was trying to move to Virginia Beach, but he met resistance from Melanie on that. I'm Jackson Hurst. I play Dr. Bradley Miller. Um, I, uh, my character met Melanie uh, in the clinic, in a fertility clinic. I'm, I'm a doctor, I'm an endocrinologist, I work in mm -hmm. uh, a fertility clinic, and she was a nurse. And uh, I came into the practice, and you know, we, our characters, very soon thereafter fell in love. And, uh, but I'm actually, or my character was actually, uh, or is still married to the same woman that he was married to then, father of three, and, you know, from the outside, seems like a guy who, who has it all, you know, uh, but they, they fell in love and, you know, things got pretty hairy after that, to say the least. Now, Michael and Jackson, was it difficult to get into the headspace to play your characters or how did you really prepare for these roles to take on? Because this, like I said, is based on true events that happened in real life. Um, well, you know, with Bill, uh, the interesting thing about with, with Bill was while there's so much written about Melanie, there wasn't a whole lot on Bill. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, so I had to fill in some gaps in, in his story and, and make some, you know, my own interpretations. But, you know, the way this story was written and the way we kind of, uh, we, the way the film is told, it, it leaves, we, kind of, we show different lenses. You know, every character had, kind of has their own way how they see the world. And I think there was a dichotomy to Bill. He was a very charming guy. He was a family man. He was a good dude. People liked him, but there's this other side of him and how deep and how dark does that go? What was going on with the womanizing the gambling? Was he in deep with the mob? Mm -hmm. um, you know, was he abusive to, to, to Melanie? So for me, I mean, I've got to, I've got to play both of those honestly. So in some ways, Bill was two different people. And so I had to kind of find that and bring that just to tell a truthful version of how we're telling the story. Mm -hmm. Jackson? Yeah, it's interesting about uh, uh, Dr. Brad. You, you would also see two sides of this person. You know, the charismatic guy right. comes into practice, um, has it all, you know, he's, he's nice, uh, gets along well with everybody. But then this other side comes out. And as the movie progresses, you see an even darker side to him um, that's, uh, that keeps it interesting, you know? Mm -hmm. And now you, you know nothing about him because, you know, he's, he's figured out a way to stay hidden from all the podcasters and everybody who's tried to track him down. Um, but as far as diving in, I mean, he, you got to play it 
like you like the guy mm-hmm. that somebody who's in love with this girl you got to play it that way you know a father of three has a good job has a good wife uh you know he's just uh seemingly not happy you know and so i i i could relate to that part of it you know i have kids right. i'm married and so i could relate to that you know of just having a good life and then what happens this craziness takes over now michael and jackson how was it like to work with the fabulous candace king who's actually one of the leads on this project yeah, Candace is great. I mean, we, we had a lot of fun. Um, she's obviously a very talented actress, but I mean, it's it makes it so much easier when you're working with people who are, who are easy to work with and who you like off camera as well. Right. Um, she really cared about the story. She's very invested in the story and the character. And uh, and I think that kind of, that that shines through in her performance. And we just kind of had a lot, like we just, we, we, there was a lot going on in our scenes. I mean, the, the scenes with Bill and Melanie, there's scenes where there's a lot of love and there's scenes where there's a lot of whatever else you want to call it, a lot of vitriol, a lot of, a lot of almost borderline evilness. So right. um, yeah, I mean, she was, I can't say enough good things about her. Mm-hmm. And by the way, you guys, did she dye her hair for this film or did she actually wear a wig? I'm just curious because I saw that she was a brunette and that's not like she's mostly a blonde. Yeah, she, she dyed her hair. She dyed her hair, yeah. Because uh, I remember I, I, we just saw her in another press panel just like a, like a half an hour ago, and she had blonde hair. I, mean, I didn't even recognize you. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, Candace, is that you? I don't like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. This movie was filmed in Georgia, right? Yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. the peachy state. By the way, I cannot let you guys go without saying this. Michael, you might remember uh, the little kid that was on set, Nolan Barton. He was in the movie with you and Candace King. And in one scene, I think Candace is running into the bathroom, shuts the door, locks it, and you're banging on the uh, door. And yeah, she has yeah. a little kid protected. But I, I know them personally. They're actually my friends. They, uh, the, the mother uh, has actually fo- photographed me before. Oh, okay, so yeah. Fun fact, yeah. Nolan Barton. Were great. He, is- he was a total pro. And, uh, and she yeah. was lovely as well. We we're happy to have him on board. Yeah, absolutely. I just wanted to uh, definitely mention that. But everyone's got to tune into this movie. Michael and Jackson, thank you for your time here on the virtual. On the virtual, it's so great that we can do these right from our very own home. But tune in to Suitcase Keller, the Melanie McGuire story, premieres on Lifetime this summer. Uh, Michael, tell us when and where we can watch this movie. Tell us the air date. Uh, t- uh, June 18th on Lifetime. June 18th, 8, 7 Central, you guys. Be sure to catch it. Michael and Jackson, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. It's always good to chat with you. Good to chat with you guys as well. Y'all take care. Have a great day. You too. Take care, boy. Thank you. Bye, guys.